Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we're learning about the Pacific Red Stripe Hogfish. Or as we like to call them in the shop, the Peppermint Hogfish. Prices on them, you'll spend like a solid $80 to $100. They are pretty expensive. Tank size, 75 gallons what they want, but you could really get away with a 55 gallon. You just really need that four feet for him to run back and forth because he is a very active swimmer. Care level, he's super easy. Temper, he can be semi-aggressive. He is a hogfish, so he's a tough, hardy little guy that's not going to let anybody mess with him. Reef compatible, yes, he's one of the only hogfish you can keep in a reef. Normally hogfish, whenever they're juveniles, you can keep them in a reef, but as they get older, they start seeing all the corals as snacks. But this guy, through his whole life, you can put him in your reef and be safe. Temperature, keep it 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.023 to 1.025. Diet, they are carnivore. Make sure you feed them very meaty diet. Keeps them full, keeps them less aggressive. Make sure you're feeding anything like frozen cubes, like brine shrimp, mysa shrimp, krill, different things like that. And you can even get a grocery store shrimp, just the regular raw frozen, and cut little bitty pieces up and drop it in there and he'll eat those too. Max size, these guys can get 5 inches, pretty big. Compatibility, just ask. I would definitely recommend only having one hogfish in a tank. Normally they get pretty territorial and want to fight each other if there's more than one in there. If you just have to have two in there, I'd recommend putting them in there at the same time. Colors that nice red and white stripes, a little bit black tail on the end. In origin, they come from Indonesia. So just a reminder, these guys are hogfish, so I would be very cautious about shrimp in your tank. Cleaner shrimp, ornamental shrimp like the uh, sexy shrimp because as they get older they will definitely see those as a hungry meal so you definitely want to watch out for that i have seen this guy eat bristle worms before i think i still have the video i'll try to put it in here if you're seeing it right now it was it was wild we just walked in one day and he had this huge bristle worm hanging out of his mouth and he was running around with it all day but other than that, this guy's super pretty. I definitely want one. It's just the price on him is kind of making me back off because he is a solid $100 at our shop. But he's super pretty. You can put him in your reef tank, and he doesn't really get aggressive towards anybody. So definitely I would recommend go try this guy out and give some new life to your tank. I will see you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other channels and follow me on some social media so I can see how y'all are doing. I'll see you all later. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all. I can't thank y'all enough from that. All started out with me just working in the fish store with an idea to let everyone know how to take care of some fish. And here we are a thousand deep and it feels great. So to celebrate for the whole month of June, every single day, I'm going to put out a new episode of All About, about some kind of fish some kind of crustacean, maybe different things on how to take care of stuff. But just either way, every single day you're going to be getting a video from me. And it's going to be awesome. Maybe even more videos. So here we go. Stay tuned. Here comes celebrating a thousand subscribers.